<laughs> you're a you're a YouTuber now. You gotta take this seriously, all right? So demanding. My hair is a little bit off. Um, um, what? where's the honey bun cereal? We're gonna have that too. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on... I'm hungry. Our channel is now called I'm Hungry. What is the name of our channel, babe? Let's let's friends. sound let's sound this out. Really <laughs> sound it out. So it's the You and your computer now because it's more important than your girlfriend. I got a new computer. It's a PC. I might be spending more time with my computer. <laughs> like I'm sick too. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a little sick. Her name is Adriana. Adriana! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Of all the names, Adriana. Welcome back to <laughs> another video on the electrics. Hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you're seeing this. As I just said, I'm a little bit under the weather right now. It's currently Valentine's Day. Yes, it is. And we decided to, it, we did a Valentine's Day video, but that was yeah, we did. a week ago. So we actually got a- We got some crazy stuff today. My, you, my mom actually gifted us this massive cookie. And it says, Love you. What does it say? Love you, Eric and Christy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's we got cute. a massive cookie. And then we also have some other goodies too. We got a package in our PO box from the Blakery, yes. which is a cookie company. Mm -hmm. And so like we have a lot of like sweet deliciousness here, but I think that we should actually actually have like a real dinner first before we get into all the sweetness. What are we gonna call this video? I was gonna say like our our treat. Treat date? Treat meal? Um, I hate seeing cheat meal, it sounds really stupid. Mm. I think we should call this like the monster cookie. Cookie, yes. Holy cow, you guys. These are huge. So that's the s'mores. This is the, what is this one called? Oh, it's just, it's the Oreo. This is called the Dunkaroo. Did you ever have Dunkaroos as a kid? I'm really excited to I don't even know what a Dunkaroo is. is. Where they, it was like um, Teddy Grahams and they d there was like a frosting no, that went with it. Uh -huh. And this is perfect for Valentine's Day. Perfect. So this is from the Blakery. We're gonna have these and then get into some of this this cookie right here which looks delicious. And um, also have some cereal. We got some Cocoa Pops, which were, these were sent to us from, from Australia from Shelby. So Shelby, thank you very much. Should I show them? I don't wanna keep them. Yeah. This is like a candy fest. So we have the Hershey's waffle bar. It's a strawberry bar. That mm -hmm. looks really, really delicious. And then we have the Three Musketeers bar, which I've been trying to track down for ages and finally yeah, did. Yeah, has. Birthday cake. And then I, speaking of birthday cake, went out and got the birthday cake hostess cupcakes. And have One this more. Small. One more thing. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Boom. Super excited. Honey bun cereal. This is like, it kind of is like the junk food fest. Like really, like it's just a bunch of junk food. I don't eat food out of trash cans. Well, you know what I meant. So uh, we're actually gonna cook up an actual dinner and then we'll get to all this. years later. Babe, we are spending our Valentine's Day we're, with YouTube. We're you guys, we are spending our Valentine's Day with you. That's so nice. I have a, have a pathetic life anyway, so you know. Honestly, you should have dessert. We're all about teaching you guys good, extreme healthy eating that habits. It smells good. It does smell amazing. You smell good. You don't even want to tell them how I took so much time to whip up this, this Delicious dinner of, of vegetables, and we got us some flank steaks, some Brussels sprouts, Onions, chicken. Snappies. So I slaved over this meal. So hopefully you guys are having a great day. <laughs> no, I just bought to look at you. Um, Christy's been really loving the flank steak lately, and I actually I really like it. I really do. I like flank steak. I know. That's why you want to get it every time we go to Costco. Mm hmm. I'm a chicken guy. I know you are. But I make compromises in relationships, you know? You don't have to be the plain steak. Look. 
I will eat it. I do what I need to do to make you happy. No, you're so sweet. Now, we're actually gonna go to a steakhouse tonight. The earliest reservation was 10 p.m. I was like, no way. No way. So we decided to scrap I that mean, idea. Not waiting that late to eat. <laughs> but it's not gonna be just us eating salad for now. I thought it'd take some time to read some great comments that we got. Well, no. What? Nothing. Comments on this channel are pretty positive. I mean, for the most part, wouldn't you say that? Mm -hmm. They are. They really are. And we really appreciate that. And if you all notice, I'm eating with a fork and not my fingers. I was just eating with my fingers. I find it funny that when people critique other people, they like critique things that are so like, they're pretty minor. But if the tables were flipped and you were being critiqued, I wonder how that would. You know. Hmm. First one's from F Frederick Vigginson, who says, Yo girl got bigger biceps than you, Eric. Time to start pumping that iron. What are you, where are you going? I don't know, we don't have any soda. You might have a freak out. You have one job. <laughs> one job. She's being sarcastic. Maybe. Hopefully. I am being sarcastic. Um. Do you have the tape measure? I can go get it. Christy is extremely jacked. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> that was so douchey. That right. was so douchey. Um. All right. So, we're gonna measure you really quick. We're doing it through the sweater. Her sweater is super thin. So about 12. 12 and a half, probably 12 and a quarter for the sweatshirt. Let's say 12 and a quarter for the sweatshirt. That's right, you gotta flex as hard as you can. That's the goal. <sighs> I cannot see it. Oh, hey, okay. oh, hey. About 14. 14 inches. So Frederick, what is your name? Frederick Vigginson. Vigginson is Basically, wrong. long story short, my arms are not bigger than his. Eric, mad selfish, if you notice he lets her take one bite, then he eats the rest. I prefer it that way. Because if he eats it all, then I don't have to. It actually works out perfect. I think people forget what I do for a living. And I think they forget what I do for a living. <laughs> True. Touche. Yo, you ain't going to share those donuts with your boy. I have no idea who you are, Caleb. Grunt. Grunting. You for show sure don't watch football if you said the Bears suck. Best team in the NFC. I never said they suck. No, I said they did. I know. Why, why did they... If you guys are going to, like, tell someone or, like, direct he, something at someone... He's basically saying that he's supporting your love for the Bears. Good. It's a positive thing for you. Good. Whatever. Um... Happy Valentine's Day to you both. In my opinion, you should have Christy do the intro. She is very creative. She is very creative. Thank you. Oh, if there is food and she tries it and doesn't like it, you can tell by the look on her face. Basically, he appreciates, or she, James, he, um, ap appreciates my honesty. Mm -hmm. So if anybody wants to send us food to review, Speaking and if it sucks, I'm going to be honest about Speaking it. Speaking of food to review. Holy smack. Um, holy smack. Would you mind, holy smack. Would you mind grabbing a knife, babe? <laughs> I, oh, a pizza look. cutter? Uh, that actually might work. So it says... Let's selfie with it first. So that's what we got right there, folks. Whoa, excuse me. Uh, my mom actually... I'm going to put that on Instagram right now. Got this for us. I, yeah. It was more of a surprise. I actually got my mom flowers. I don't know if you guys... Do you guys give your people or give your... Give your people. Your relatives flowers or things on Valentine's Day? Even though they're not your significant other. Ooh, look oh, that. look at that. It's a cookie pizza. Look at that deliciousness right there. Um, I want my own piece. You want your own piece? I don't want my own piece. I want the one where it says Christy. Is it? Okay, this is a really good question. When you eat pizza, do you eat the slice right next to it or do you grab one from the other side? You you grab one from the other side. So you grab the best looking piece. Well, I grab, I grab the entire pizza. So I but I'm talking like normal people. Like, what do you do? Like, do you take whatever piece you want, or do you just take the one in order? You grab the rest of the slices, like a normal person should. Let me let us know down below. Okay. Ooh. So that is the cookie pizza. Try it. Here we go. Mmm. It's a little frosty. That is mad good. So that is the inside right mm. there. 
I mean, honestly, it's a so cookie. Good. Uh, yeah, it just it's tastes just like a, a giant cookie. So I, I, I thought it was really good. That it was. It was so sweet of Eric's mom. We feel very loved. Now do you want to go eat those? Heck yes, I'm so excited Show for Show them one more time. So that is what we have for our Blakery Donuts Ooh. right there. No, cookies, not donuts, babe. Oh, so that's... <laughs> Goodness it's gracious, guys. I've done it in videos a lot, and it's really, really embarrassing. Oh, wow. You're really in BCAs? That's what you're drinking? We don't have any soda. What else What else should I drink? Champagne? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I almost have to do, like, a little salty. Yeah, that's true. That's that's my that's my method of doing my sweet challenges. I always usually try to have something salty. Very good, very Pump good. Tip. All right. Which cookie do you want to try first? Um, Let's get to the Dunkaroo one. Yeah, because I need to experience this. This is like a childhood thing. So there's the Dunkaroo. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Which? What is, so there's like a filling. That's just going to be straight up frosting. All right, let's do this. You want to do the actual filling? Yeah. Oh man. Oh my goodness gracious. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. That is what we got right there for the inside, it guys. It tastes just like a birthday cake. Yeah. It's very, very good. I would say it definitely tastes like a birthday cake. No, it's not raw. So oh, they, they I'm under- I'm not a cookie connoisseur. No, you're fine. They um, typically, like even like Disney, because they sell giant cookies too, they typically just slightly, I don't even want to say like under bake because they're baked, but it keeps them soft. All right. So this is the, it's a Valentine part, which is convenient because it's Valentine's Day. Do you remember what flavor it was? Nope. Ooh. Oh, there's a cream Snap, center. Snap, there's a cream center. You guys can't see it, we'll show you in a second here. All right. Oh man. Wow. I never want to focus, it's so irritating. So that is that the is inside. That is tasty. Wow. That was really, really good. I gotta say, I'm really impressed. It's weird because it's, it's. I really like birthday cake, and um, oh, I got some chocolate chips too in here. I have to hand it to him. Like those are good. Yeah, they're solid. Now, now we're getting one. into this one. This was an Oreo red velvet, or is it just? Oh red yeah, velvet? it is red velvet. Red velvet. Ooh, that the Oreos. Okay, I just have to like <laughs> dissect this, and it looks like it's gonna be a chocolate Oreo. Oh. oh but you can see that it's um, it's a red velvet Oreo. Man, I just completely broke apart. Oh, Do you want to hear? I thought you were gonna split it in half. Yeah. I wonder. Let's take a bite of the chocolate first. Is it just straight up chocolate? Sure. Oh, I don't want it then. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be caramel. All right, okay, here we go. Oh man. There's like layers. Wow. It's red velvet for sure. For sure, my favorite one so far. Yeah, I was gonna say that one's probably by far the best. Marshmallow, graham cracker, like look at that presentation is on point. Let's just hope that the taste is, oh my gosh, that marshmallow is actually gooey. Let's, let's, like the marshmallow is like actually. Babe, do not find all the marshmallow. I, I'm just saying like it's not stale, like it's still like super fresh. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. Wow, just like a s'more. Mmm, the graham cracker filled. And that, my friends, I'm starting to sound more and more like you. Was <laughs> that a is the bakery, guys? That was so amazing. So, okay, so let's rate them: red velvet, then the s'mores, and then the Valentine's one, which I can't remember what flavor that one was, and then the Dunkaroo. Yeah, but all exceptional. Yeah, I definitely think the red velvet was number one, followed by the um, the hearts hearts one. Oh, really? Yeah, you, you liked it better good. than the s'mores. Yeah, and then s'mores third, and then the Dunkaroo last. Alrighty. Um, so weird guys, and we're gonna probably finish this cookie a little bit later. Well, I'll eat the majority of it. I'm gonna say I'm not. Yeah, you're not touching it. Some are, someone's some are shredding right now. Next, uh, we're gonna do we're gonna try out these cupcakes. So these are. Birthday cake cupcakes. Now I was super excited to see these because I love birthday cake stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll try these out. 
I like going out and getting new, like, I don't know why, I'm just like it's always fun. so curious about new items when they come out. Thank you. I have not had a Hostess cupcake in a very long time. Very, very. Ooh. Smells like birthday cake. Oh, it does smell like birthday cake. All right, let's do right. this. Ready? Cheers. Three, two, one. You got buying for it. I want to look in it first. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, it tastes like a birthday cake Twinkie. So that is the inside right there, guys. I have to say, I'm not like a huge fan of this because for some reason, it's like it doesn't taste a lot like birthday cake to me. I was going to say, it tastes... It smells it, more it like birthday cake It tastes like vanilla taste. birthday cake, but it's just, um, I don't know, average. I think it's because it came after those cookies, because there was cookies around. Don't buy them. Next, I gotta try, but we have to try these, this Hershey's waffle. Ooh. This looks absolutely amazing. Is it cherry flavor? No, it's strawberry. Mm -hmm. Babe, just give it a shot. Be open-minded. Okay. okay. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Well, I'll show you guys that in a second. I don't like it. It's, I wouldn't buy that again. It's just a weird. I mean, like I like chocolate covered strawberries, but when it's mostly like like chocolate and fruit, I just uh, I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan. Like how we were talking about the orange steaks that you get at Christmas. Mm -hmm. Oh, babe, your three musketeers is smashed. That one's pretty good. All right, let's see this. this. Birthday cake flavor. There we go. Here we go. Open it up. Oh snap. Mm -hmm. We're on a birthday cake. Extravaganza here. So there's a little bit of sprinkles in it. I'm not a huge fan of Three Musketeers, so does it taste like a Three Musketeers? It does not taste like birthday cake at all to me. It tastes like just straight up chocolate. I don't like it. That is what the inside looks like, and I'm gonna give Those that one a candy. huge thumbs down, guys. Those we candy bars suck. It's just now I gotta get something extremely awful. important because we have cereal. Are you getting a blown milk? Yes, I am, babe. <gasps> you actually put effort into this. The thing about cereal is that all right, guys. So now we have the new honey bun cereal. I've been extremely excited to try this out. Do you think we should actually do the cocoa pops first? Um, I think we should. Okay, <laughs> sure. Now, again, these were sent to us by, or from Shelby, who worked with a good friend of mine. Ooh. Oh, okay. I love new cereal. It looks like it's like rice checks. Mm -hmm. They look like money buddies. I'm gonna get my hands full so they can see. So that's what they look like. Now, focus. The infamous milk pour. I've never been here live with a milk pour. You are making a mess. People have no idea. What goes into food challenges? What goes into food challenges? Can try some? Probably need more milk. No, I think that's good. Well, we don't have any more milk for the other cereal. Ready? And here we go. It's like chocolate checks. Oh my goodness gracious. Mm-hmm. Wow. Got sure. Dang. Oh, that stuff's really good. Those are white checks though. It's weird because checks does that. They'll like over dust one every one of every eight eight checks and mm -hmm. then they'll keep it in the cereal. Wow. I really like this cereal. It's cool because it turns the it turns the milk brown. So it becomes like chocolate milk. Exactly. What's your favorite cereal ever? That's not even a fair question. I would probably say Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Really? And Lucky Charms. Now you guys, what's your favorite cereal ever? What's your favorite cereal ever? I have so many favorites, babe. I know. Well, I do too. That's like, I love all cereals. I could name you the ones that I don't like. That'd be a much shorter list. Go ahead. Um, I do not like, 
I actually don't really like chocolate cereal. Like it's not a huge, like I'm just- Why didn't you tell me before we got into the chocolate cereal? No, it's fine. I mean like, I just wouldn't buy Cocoa Puffs. Um, I don't really like peanut butter crunch either. Like peanut butter, most peanut butter cereals suck. Oh, I'll okay. tell you. Okay, I didn't really like that one. I was like waiting for you to be there. I've eaten a lot of cereal in my life. Peanut butter cereal is generally like the only good one is the Jif peanut butter cereal, and uh, peanut I've butter. Never had it. Uh, Captain uh, peanut butter crunch from Captain Crunch. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, it's um, okay. I love Captain Crunch with like berries. Those are so. Good. So that was where I was going to next. Oh. Most fruit fruit, fruit flavored cereals absolutely suck. <gasps> no, I love. So you don't like fruity pebbles. I love Fruity Pebbles. This is actually pretty good, guys. Um, I actually find it really funny that they gave it a 1.5 stars out of five stars for their health rating. You can't no. see it because this stupid camera never wants to focus. But whatever, it says 1.5 stars out of five, which is hilarious. That's funny. They take their nutrition seriously in Australia. Now we have the Honey Bun cereal. So we're gonna try this out right no, now. No, that me and Eric love cinnamon rolls. Oh. Well, I mean, honey buns and cinnamon rolls are different, aren't they? I don't know. I thought they were the same. Uh oh. He's oh, having a moment, everybody. Dude, you are going to literally just. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's insane, isn't that smells it? Smells like frosting. Now I do the 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 powdered donut cereal from Post or Hostess that they just released was a huge letdown, so I'm hoping that this is not gonna be a letdown. I really hope it's not gonna be a letdown. So that's what it looks like right there, this stuff. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. I'm ready. <laughs> she's, she's ready. I wanna try dry peas first. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. And I like sweet. It's good. It tastes like a honey bun. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, it's just not like, it smells better than it tastes. I think it's absolutely amazing. Really? You like it? You buy it again? Oh no, I probably wouldn't buy it again. Like, there's better cereals out there, but I think it's pretty good. It tastes like a To describe it like it's like honey nut cheerios but sweeter yeah you know anyways guys if you enjoyed the video on the electrics let we, us know we look like two below. unsupervised children we, we look like that at the end of every video but baby. goodness if you guys enjoy the video be sure to let us know down in the comments below also suggest to us where you guys want us to do what you guys want us to do for the next video we have a lot of ideas we could do another fast food piece yeah we couldn't if you guys have any food you'd like us to review please let us know we're happy to Taste test. We had a great time, guys. We will see you in the next video.